Hello, and welcome to the beta for Booktype 2.0. First thing to do is go to beta.booktype.pro with your web browser. I'm using Firefox. And sign in with the details that you were given in the invitation. So you'll see this box has changed to my profile. It should be your login name, full name, and uh, Gravatar if you have one. You can click on my dashboard. This will take you to an overview page showing uh, any books that you've created, uh, any groups that you belong to, and any groups that you're participating in. So as we don't have a book yet, we're going to create an example book. By clicking on the Create New Book button, this opens a wizard. I'm going to type in the name I want. I can fill in a description too, if necessary. Choose a copyright license. This one's going to be uh, public domain. Choose a, an image for work. Now this doesn't have to be the final cover. Um, this is just an image to help represent the book in book type itself. So let's have uh, this one. And this option, make public, is about whether you want people to be able to see the book or not yet. Um, I'm going to uncheck initially hide from others because I'm going to make this book public. And I'm going to click the finish button. After a couple of seconds, my uh, book will be created. And this is now the book page. Uh, you'll see the URL up here has changed. Um, the title is filled with hyphens, but it's uh, based on the title that I entered earlier. Now, we don't have any chapters yet, so I'm going to click edit this book. Click new chapter. I'm going to call this one chapter one. I can now click to edit the chapter. Start writing my book. Save the chapter. Close it. Um, I can now add another chapter or a new section. I can drag that chapter I created into the section and then can create another section. And I can move my chapter again into that section if I want to. Now up here on the top right corner, you'll see there are various different icons. Um, the next one is for media. This is where I hold all of the uh, images that are contained within the book. I just click the Add Files button, choose the one that I want. I'm going to go for this one. And you'll see it gets uploaded. There's a preview icon, which I can click to see a close up. It also shows me the file name, uh, dimensions, file size, and the date it was um, uploaded. Now, if I go back to my table of contents and edit this chapter, I can now insert the image that I uploaded from my media library, or I can choose to upload an image directly. And there it is. So let's say I've uh, decided to save this chapter with a comment. This is a very useful feature when people are editing a book uh, collaboratively uh, because they can leave comments for each other. Now, if I go over here into the book history, you'll see a list of all the changes that were made to this book. Here's where I saved that chapter, chapter one. And if I click on it, you'll see 
Here's my comment over on the right hand side. I've also got a revision number here so I can click on that and I can scroll through the different revisions and see all of the changes that have been made both in the normal view which shows the book as it will appear when published also in the source view which shows the HTML behind the page. So there's very tight control over changes that are made to the book, who made them, uh, the time they made them, the, any comments they've left, and also the ability to compare revisions back to the initial creation of the chapter. So it's possible to track exactly what has happened and when. Now if we go into the cover manager, which is up here, you'll see that I can upload a cover. Let's say I'm going to upload a PNG format cover for my EPUB edition. I can call this my EPUB cover. Created by me. And it's going to be in the public domain again. I can leave notes about the cover as well. Click to upload the cover. After a couple of seconds, there it is. I can. Uh, Click on the eye icon to uh, see a preview of that in my browser. And when I export the book um, to EPUB format, I can now have that included automatically. There's also um, an approved checkbox. So if I have uh, alternative covers, I can uh, mark the ones that have been signed off for publication. Now over here in the settings uh, icon, we've got various different settings like uh, which language the book is written in, and uh, whether it contains right to left text, uh, such as Arabic, and the various other settings, including the book metadata, and uh, the security settings for um, the people that are allowed to um, log in and edit this book. And when I'm ready to publish, I'll go to the publish icon up here, click the output format that I want. I'm going to choose book PDF. Click the publish button and after a few seconds there it is. So the green icon indicates that it was exported successfully. It shows the person that made the export and the um, timestamp of the export. And then I just click on the green button and there's my book.